quite honest. Tell you what, let's get this thing is out of the way and then we're going to be joined by Chris from Table Fox. Boy, am I excited. I really am. You're right here in Galaxy. Galaxy 107FM. That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM, and as you can tell, I am absolutely excited. I have the man himself, Chris here from Table Fox. Good morning, Chris. Good morning to you, Grant. Thanks for having me. Oh, look, it is an absolute pleasure to have you in front of me. Normally, we have people on the internet that are talking to us from everywhere in the world. Really, I've got to do this. Yeah. Yeah, he's I'm real. real. He's real. I'm he's real. real. I'm actually here. <laughs> Somebody is actually sitting in front of me. It is a pleasure <laughs> to have you, my friend. And uh, believe me, uh, I, I love your music. Now, uh, I want to talk to you a lot about your music, how you've been recording it, yep. who's your producer, where you've been recording. And, of course, uh, as we follow through with it, uh, we'll also get down the line of talking about websites, how we can uh, get our listeners to be able to buy your merchandise, sure. stuff like this. Uh, of course, you pay for your music, folks. You know. <laughs> Don't cheap out and get it for free. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we need some money here. So uh, let's uh, start off with, uh, now I want to talk to you about right or wrong. Sure. Now, uh, I only just heard it earlier on this morning myself. Uh, the engineer has been working frantically to get it for us. <laughs> uh, and uh, now, how did you come to the lyrics with this? Uh, well, Clint, our singer, he tends to write a lot about um, relationships and just between different sorts of people. And I think... Uh, for him, this one was just connection through just the, the music where he just got a vibe off the music and he actually mentioned that he'd read reading something about uh, a, a conflict between a couple of people in the paper that day. So that was what the spark was for this lyric. Yeah, yeah, sort of, you know. There's always two sides to a story, aren't there? Absolutely, so, mm. uh, and three sides to a coin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I do understand that. Uh, the, the thing too is, uh, uh, we're going to be uh, premiering it for you today. Uh, yeah, I believe so. Yeah, I, this has not been on air anywhere yet. So, you know, so I, I, you I, <laughs> look, I am so <laughs> privileged to be able to do this. And, and believe me, we get a lot of bands that actually ask us, can you uh, uh, premiere something for us? Uh, very rarely do I actually get somebody sitting in the seat in front of me saying, hey, listen, this is um, world first, yeah. not only for the uh, for the band Table Fox, but also for Galaxy 107 FM. Let's play that, and then I'm going to talk to you about a song called Something Better. You're right here at Galaxy 107 FM. Good morning. There's a coffee, bro. Great. Right. Perfect. Yeah. Yep. Good. Do you want good phones or anything? Oh, alright. Sweet. Pretty sad, eh? Sweet. Let's go. Yeah, I'm a pen, still. Yeah. <laughs> Old school. Nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with, Nothing wrong with old school. We're old school, too. Yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, my production manager at the moment had to break it off on the first one. Right, and mine's not well, so yeah. yeah. Otherwise, he'd be over here having a chat and yeah. like a nice guy. Yeah, but I'm not to worry the hell out of it. Yeah. <laughs> and when I'm ringing you up at 5 30 in the morning for Barbara, she's, Have you got the downloads yet? <laughs> uh, <laughs> you saw me in that saying you did a lot of bounce backs from those emails. Oh, look, we did. We, we get so much email coming. You have to kind of put up your spam wall. Well, yeah, you've got yeah. to sit there and cut everything out. Yeah. And, you know, get everything that is good coming in, so, yeah. And sometimes overnight, we might get maybe 150 emails in mm -hmm. different places Sorry. around the world. Yeah, well, you say you've got all these 3 million to 5 million listeners. Mm -hmm. You're going to get a bit of mail, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to try from this angle, I think. Yeah, you're coming over this you're side. Come, around yeah. to come and join us. I think I might sit on the <laughs> chair there and... I don't know what he's doing. He's good. Yeah, no, he's... Because I started in the band with him about 20-something years ago. Okay. And he started out as a drummer. <laughs> so we finally kind of got him off the kit and then up towards the front. So, you know, he's, he's, he's got a really, really great style. And um, the way he connects live is really... Really awesome. So, yeah. yeah, absolutely. You need somebody up front that can have a rapport with the crowd. Yeah, you really do. Um, I've been in the music game for 40 years, I don't yeah. want to say it, but you know, yeah. um, and you're always <laughs> fine. 
Uh, the most successful front people are the ones that smile at the yeah. crowd to start off with. Yeah, you know, because exactly. they have a little smile and a little, yeah. you know, something between each other. The whole yeah. shoe goes in there, and kind of, it's another war. Exactly. Um, yeah, you know, I, I've got to be honest with you, uh, I can remember that. What was yeah. the, the singer? Yeah. Clint. Clint. Yeah. Clint. I should know that. I've got a friend of mine called Clint. Um, and by the way, uh, the lead singer of the Feelers is my cousin. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Unfortunately, he wears the same name as I do. But I just go by Grant instead of James. Oh, I see. <laughs> I see. That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM, 2 after 11 o'clock, 15 degrees downtown, heading for that higher 17 degrees, mm, yeah, I think we may get there too, Monday, May 29th, and I'm joined by future icons to New Zealand music, of course, uh, Chris here, and uh, 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 talking about Clint just moments ago, what a great voice he's got. Yeah, thanks, he, uh, Clint's, Clint's a fantastic singer and a fantastic frontman, and um I was saying, you know, he, he started out as a drummer and we've, we've managed to get him out the front there and connect with, uh, connect with people and, and uh, showcase his great voice. So, yeah. yeah, absolutely. And, and I, I can see he's going to take you a long way with a voice like that. And also, it feels like he has a natural feel yeah, uh, for yeah, the game, he actually. He really does. Yeah, he's been writing songs for a long time. And as I was saying, we've been, we've been writing songs together for the last 20 or so years. And, in various lineups, so you know he's. I don't he's believe you. You're not twenty. No, not quite. <laughs> yeah, not, not, not quite twenty. Not quite. <laughs> no, 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 no. Much younger guys, really. <laughs> Much younger. Uh, believe me, uh, I, I want to talk to you about where you've been recording this music, uh, and uh, I also want to give a plug for the name of the new EP that you got out. Uh, Glass Houses. Is yeah, that? I uh, got it right. Music. Absolutely. Uh, now, where did you record this? Uh, the EP, uh, we recorded the EP, um, we did three tracks up at the Depot studio on the North Shore of Auckland with Dave Rhodes, who, yep. um, you know Dave? I know yeah, Dave yeah, well yeah. actually, yeah. and I know the Depot, so... Oh we're... right, great space. Absolutely awesome. brilliant. Yeah, we got, we got some great sounds out of there. And then um, we took the tracks back to Matt, our, our guitar player, he's got a home studio, uh -huh. and um, running some serious gear out of there, which we, we're very lucky to have. And um, yeah, we added uh, did the vocals there and a little uh, few overdubs, and we actually the the intro track to the EP, which was the self-titled track, uh, we recorded in Matt's space as well. Right, yeah. uh, I did have a listen to that. Uh, the only reason why I didn't pick up on it right now, unfortunately, uh, being a bit of an instrumental, yeah. we thought we'd uh, just gloss that one over. Yeah, yeah, no, that's right. um, uh, But having said that, let's take nothing away from the work that's been put into it. It's an absolutely brilliant track Thank in you. its own right. So yeah. uh, did like that. I, I just thought, you know, uh, we will play something <laughs> with a few words in it. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, we will uh, lose that on the popcorn. <laughs> but the thing too is at the same time the quality of your work is absolutely superb and i got to give the uh, props up to your engineers yeah well yeah dave did as i said an amazing job of capturing the sounds of the couple of days we were with him and matt is just a, a, an amazing producer he, he does uh 
the engineering and producing back at his place and he works his tail off. Yeah, it, it really sounds like it. Yeah. Being an engineer myself, and uh, I've spent a number of years in places like Stebbings and Harlequin and yeah. a number of other recording studios around the country, yeah. uh, I, I listen for the quality and I, I actually uh, got one of those years where I can figure out what the engineer is doing, yeah. to be quite honest. And, and he is a superb engineer, I've got to give him props. Yeah, we're really lucky to have Matt and he's, he's got some fantastic skills and and a great ear for sounds and frequencies and just where to put things in the spectral of the exactly. of the of the track so you know and when he's mixing so he does an amazing job you know the collaborative job of making a song is not as easy as just sitting down and writing a few words i'll tell you uh, it is a real industry and i'm so pleased that people like yourselves uh bringing along the new zealand flavor to the world yeah we try we try really hard you know it's a lot of hard work as you know um you know and we, we it's just battle away you know write stuff that we like and work hard on it really and it's there's no substitute you know just keep playing keep writing and, and meeting people like yourself and getting the music out there. You know, uh, the thing about it too, uh, about New Zealand music is, uh, I've found over the years it's getting better and better and better, it really is. Uh, I remember back in the day, and I used to work with Helen Clark to, uh, uh, way back in the day, when it used to be New Zealand Music Day. Yes. And, yeah, and yeah. I worked with Helen Clark to make it New Zealand Music Month, and I got the job to travel up and down the countryside, find bands and put them in studios, yeah. literally. Uh, and of course, at the time, I was working uh, for The Rock and also with a band, I don't know whether you heard of them, The Herbs. Yeah. Way back in the day, I was their engineer. Yeah, a little bit. Just, yeah, just did, a little bit, you know. Well. Uh, and, and in fact, uh, at the time, I'd just come out of the recording studios for doing foot rock flat stuff. Wow. You know, back, way back Legendary. there. Legendary. Uh, and uh, uh, I, I'm so pleased that uh, New Zealand music now is showing a fruit of yep. my labours back then. And we need to all thank people like yourself who did put in that time and effort because, yeah, things have grown a lot more since, obviously, that time and obviously when we started um, in high school there was no smoke free rock quest when when we started um, back in uh, our chops back then in the bands at, at school and it, things have just blossomed where there are so many more pathways for musicians now to get their music heard um, through initiatives like music day and now month um, <laughs> so things have gotten a lot better you know so it's it's a growing industry still um, and there are still things that can be done, you know, to help out more, but it's it's great still, you know. It's, Absolutely. It's, now, it's blossoming. I kind of want to ask you, you're not making any plans on heading to Australia and becoming, uh, you know, an expat and, no, and being claimed no, by Australia? No, very, we're all very proud of New Zealanders. No, <laughs> very we are, good. We are keen to, to, to sort of obviously share our music with as many people as possible. So, um, yeah, we, we're always looking at opportunities wherever, overseas. Um, Absolutely. Yeah, we've brilliant. had some great feedback from um, people in the UK about the album that uh, some, uh, Right or Wrong and Something Better came off and also the new EP. So we're making connections around the place, which is great. I tell you what, uh, and uh, you may be interested in this, I have spoken to a number of managers that we have over in the United States about your music. And uh, you. uh, uh, well, actually, I'm, I'm sort of putting you in the uh, same brackets, of course with Devil Skin, uh, with the Claxtons, Hangar hang, uh, 18, yep. and yourselves, now we're uh, four bands, literally, yep. uh, and we think that these are the primary four bands in New Zealand right now. Uh, other, one more, maybe Primacy, I'm not sure whether you yep, know those yep, guys, yep. yep. Uh, and Jason, a wonderful guy yeah. in his own right, uh, and we're looking at uh, trying to break into the market in the United States. Now, I have a number of managers over there that are saying, Grant, I have bands that are just wanting to work with you guys. You know, we, we love you guys, and uh, we forwarded in Table Fox, and uh, as Thank I said, you. Table Skin and stuff like that. Um, at, at the same time, I, I want to talk to you about the magazine, and now, uh, folks, if you don't know about the magazine by now, where you been? <laughs> <laughs> Literally, www.crankitupmagazine.com all one word by the way uh, Crank It Up Magazine go and have a look in there and believe me you're just going to absolutely enjoy and we're going to get uh, Table Fox in there right. uh, as much as we can uh, maybe uh, if not this month's uh, magazine is coming up it'll certainly be in the following one I know that it really is, is going to be there uh, but John a uh, wonderful guy he's uh, do you remember Solid Gold back in the day the old TV show um, Marilyn McCoo 
No, no, no. Uh, Rick Dees and uh, Dion Warwick. Oh, Warwick. the radio version? Uh, actually, the oh, uh, TV. Yeah, yeah. Because they had um, Andy Gibb on it for a while, didn't they? <laughs> they did. They really did. Yeah, yeah. You know that old, come on. Uh, <laughs> solid gold dancers, I used to stay up to that. Oh, yeah, everybody did. <laughs> everybody did. Well, he's putting together a uh, nightclub kind of scenario where he does have his own TV cameras and everything like that. Wow. And putting one together, and we want to get our bands on those stages. We yes, really do. Uh, at the same time, we have a, a friend of ours who's one of the selectors for the Grammy Awards. I've heard of those. Yeah. yeah. One, uh, now, apparently, the 60th <laughs> Grammy Awards this year coming around are uh, going to be taken from uh, Hollywood, as we know where they are, yeah. and to New York for one massive party. Now, we want to get a Kiwi band on that stage. And, uh, yes, please. Exactly. So <laughs> what it basically boils down to is if we can introduce you guys to the right people, get you over there, get you in front of their crowds, and, and get you as loved as you, what you are here in this country. And believe me, uh, I think you're very loved in this country. Um, we would love to be able to be a part uh, of getting you guys a little bit of what's deserved, I, I think, and that's recognition. Well, that's, that's very, yeah, that sounds like an exciting initiative. Yeah, we're very grateful, you know, for... For anybody that kind of gets on and connects with our music, so that that would be really, yeah, that would be an exciting. Well, I've got to be honest with you. I, I'm a huge fan of your music. I, I, I'm a hard one to get across, literally, because I hear so much music every day. You would, yeah. Um, that that uh, it is to me sometimes leave it or take it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, when I first heard yours, and Barbara brought me the uh, the whole uh, list of music that you got there, and she goes, here, listen, you just kind of listen to these guys. And I went, Barbara, Thanks, Barbara. again? <laughs> and she goes, no, you're going to love these guys. Now, the last time uh, she said that to me, I actually looked at Barbara kind of sideways and went, <laughs> what the heck is this? Uh, which ended up being my best friends. Oh, wow. <laughs> a band called Washboard Union, wasn't it? It was just the one song there. Yeah. The way it started out, you know how your first 30 seconds of a song, you know so whether important. you like it or not. Yeah. This one I didn't like, and I looked at Barbara sideways, and I yeah. said, hey, listen, what the heck are you doing? She <laughs> goes, give it some time. You know? Just let it rest. Okay, it. yeah, let, let, it, let it mellow in there. I might wash over you. And then... She gave me the whole host of other stuff that they did, and I went, why haven't you introduced me to these guys before? Oh, nice. uh, and huge band, yeah. huge band. Uh, they uh, uh, win awards with the CCMA over in... Yeah, uh, that's uh, a, it's a large market, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, really it's so fantastic. Huge, huge band. And, and uh, we want to bring them here to New Zealand as well. So, uh, And that's the other thing I was going to talk to you about with uh, John Rain in the magazine as well. He wants to bring bands here to New Zealand. Everybody that makes it into the magazine has a running to be yeah. able to be picked to do something. Thing is, you're already here. So, I, I figure, if it's good enough for one foot, why not? <laughs> yeah. Reciprocation. Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. Let, let's get some of our Kiwi bands over there. And uh, he is very, very seriously looking at that. And what we'd probably do is bring a number of bands from Canada and from the United States over here to do a bit of a festival yeah. and to mingle our own talents here. Let's showcase our own stuff yeah, as well. connections. Absolutely, yeah. and that's what it's all about. Yeah. That's what it's all about. The growth of music at the end of the day. It's about people. And well, you know, for me it's all about music. Yeah. It really is. People make the music, yep. but the music itself is the important thing. Yep. And uh, over in the United States, it's so hard for people, and in Canada, uh, to get airplay over there. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure what, whether it's hard or just as hard here. Uh, simply because I, I've been doing this for a number of years mm. now that everybody else does it for me. I just do the mic stuff. Yeah, yeah people <laughs> um, like Barbara. Yeah, yeah exactly. You know, I, got, it for you. I, I got the perfect face for radio. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, I don't go and source the music like Barbara does. Absolutely yeah. talented lady in her own right. Yeah. Uh, now, the thing too is that we want to be able to get uh, everything intermingling, everything going around yeah. and, and getting everybody's music out there to the uh, to the wonderful listeners that we have, yeah. and it is so difficult for bands these days to get recognition, especially if you're an indie band. It is, yes, yeah. You don't have the the might or the weight of a of a label behind you that have the resources to be able to get those channels and the the, the mass saturation like we see with some of the bigger artists. But um, you know, with people like yourself and and John as well, sort of making those connections, um, that sounds like a fantastic fantastic thing to, to do, you know, and try and, and, and have that relationship with the, the North American 
artists that are in the magazine as well, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And you know something? Everybody that's in the magazine uh, literally are friends of galaxies, yeah. and, and we have a lot of respect with these people. We really do. In, in fact, uh, I could list you maybe about a dozen bands. that we've, uh, A guy popped up just the other day. His name's Rod. I'm not going to give the last name away, but he's uh, very, very connected with all of these bands. He goes, everybody's talking about you, you know? Um, how come I haven't heard of you before? Yeah. <laughs> you know, and now we're actually working quite closely because he's got uh, more bands on his books that we could ever find, right. literally. And uh, we we keep saying to a lot of these uh, managers and that we uh, are only looking for quality. We only take quality. We only look at quality. If you're a garage band, well, that's fine. Yeah. You know, you have a place in the world, but unfortunately, you're not white mm. what we're looking for and uh, to be able to get somebody in that seat right there in front of me uh, <laughs> is spectacular in its own right because we believe in your music oh thank you you know it's in and we believe in in organizations like galaxy and in the magazine to crank it up as well and you know it's just about supporting the whole industry together and, and sort of building on top of what is the foundation of what it is and it's the music really isn't it absolutely so, absolutely and the good thing too is that uh, the nurturing brings along the next generation yes, of music exactly, as yeah. well and, and now you'd be in a position to be an influence to uh, younger people coming yeah. up you know I, I envy you i really do because I, I know you have the talent i know you have everything there uh, and people will soon be looking at you going we want to be a part of it. We, how, do you, how do you do it? Show us how to do it. And I know that you're a, a facilitator of education. <laughs> I, I, know I didn't that. use the T word. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't use the T no, word. No, I really didn't. So, okay, now I want to talk to you about something better. Uh, how did you guys come to the lyrics of that? Um, again, that, was, that, that song was written in my front lounge. <laughs> had a problem, it, it had come over to my place and I said, oh, I've got a few... A few ideas I want to just chuck at you and um, and yeah he, he just came up with the melody and um, I think at the time when we were jamming it out just on the acoustic guitar when for the chorus he just sang the word something better and I said what oh that kind of that sounds kind of kind of optimistic as well and um, we recorded it just a sketch on, on an iPad or on his phone I think it was at the time and he took it away, and again, you know, when I asked him about the lyrics, it's, it's just, it's about relationships and how people communicate with each other, and, 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 and that's sort of really where the core of his lyric writing comes from, is how people interact with one another on various levels, depending on, on who they are, really. So, yeah, a lot of our lyrics are about people, not necessarily people we know, but um, some might be. He won't tell me if they are. Um, but um, yeah, it's gen it's generally about how people are treating each other, communicating with each other, and 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 basically, yeah, just sort of talking about the human condition about Fair communication. Enough. Fair enough. Yeah. Anyway, uh, let's go straight to it. Here's Table Fox and something better. You're right here at Galaxy One Hundred Seven FM. Gosh, it's hot in here, right? Eh? <laughs> that old t shirt, huh? Yeah, I know. You need another shirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sounds an awesome initiative, eh? Yeah, absolutely. What a really um, cool idea. The strange thing about it was we, we were actually uh, interviewing bands a, as we normally were. Yeah. And this guy, John Ray, gets in touch with Barbara and says, uh, I want to talk to that DJ of yours. Oh, yeah. Um, Barbara says, what about? And he goes, I have an idea. So we got together and everything, and he goes, listen, I've got a magazine. Yeah. You want to be a part of it? And I was like, hell yeah. yeah. He goes, look, you know, um, it, it's, you have the same view as what I have. And yeah. that is, um, it costs bands, he says over there, hundreds of thousands of dollars just to get one song played on, yeah. uh, on our top class radio station. That's really difficult. Uh, and he says, I'm not interested in charging the fans this. Mm. He says, we can find the funds from corporates, yes. which is quite true. I mean, we've got Pepsi and Timex and a number, oh, sorry, Rolex and a number of other yeah. huge BMWs on board. Wow. You know, right? So there's some very big sponsors in there. Yeah. And it's cost effective for the bands to get some recognition. Now, he's getting 
million people heading every month, looking at the magazine, reading it, getting to know what's inside it. Um, 17% is coming out of New Zealand. Mm, 17? Yes. Because mm. they're listening to it. <laughs> Go and have a look at the bloody magazine. That's what I said. <laughs> yes. I mean, when you've got zero coming out of Australia, I wonder why. Oh. I guess all the shit. 1% out of Canada. <laughs> That's incredible. What, one point something percent out of Canada, mm. India, uh, you know, a number of other yeah. places. 17% out of New Zealand, I went to That's awesome. You're yeah. joking, you know, and he goes, no, I'm quite serious. He actually emailed me the stats and stuff. Yeah. That's okay. A, what a great thing. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Super. You know, and, and that to me means we have a local listenership. Yeah. Um, just because we're on FM, uh, we're more on the internet, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And, and people can get us anywhere. Um, at the same time, I've got a company in Australia right now that's making us new equipment simply because oh, yeah. the government over there and the government here are working hand in hand with getting rid of it. Oh, no. Don't want to go into the internet. Um, mm. Everything wants to be on the internet. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah. And we've been doing it for three years now. And yeah. The government keeps an eye on us. They come yeah. in and uh, talk to us from time to time. Uh, especially being election year, they love to visit then. Yeah, know? don't they? So it's my turn to hit them back. Yep. You know? And of course we're doing Can tourism. Yeah, we're space. doing a bit of tourism, we're doing a bit of this and a bit of that. Yeah. Uh, and I want the inside skinny on different bits of information yeah. that I know is going on. Yeah. Just confirm it for me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And they do. You're right here at Galaxy. I know JJ. <laughs> yeah, but not that well. There's going to be less of her around at some point. Oh my God. Dom must be um, beside himself right now. His puppies are out. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, but good cause. Yes, totally. Yeah. Absolutely. Extremely good cause. Breast cancer awareness. Yep. Uh, you know, good on JJ. Well done. Yep. You know, uh, and I don't promote another radio station often, uh, but she's had some difficult times too. She just came out of depression not so long yep. ago. So, uh, you know, and, and Dom, uh, being the salt of uh, the earth that he is, you mm. know, he's standing by her very, very much. And what a worried husband he has been. Yeah, no, it can't be, can't be easy in, uh, for both of them, you know, sort of going through some of the things they've been through in the last few years. You know, mm. obviously with the fertility thing that they had on, they went through on television as well. Exactly. You know, so, you yeah. know, no, great, great cause. Yeah, I remember saying to JJ, if you do have a boy, don't name a grant. <laughs> <laughs> do not do that to him, you know. Name him something really cool like uh, Lee. <laughs> Lee. Lee. <laughs> Raul. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Manuel. <laughs> yeah, we haven't had a Manuel for a while, you know, Faulty Towers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, he passed exactly. away not so long ago. He did, so. Andrew Sachs. Yeah, yeah we yeah. need a replacement. You hear that, JJ? <laughs> Good luck with that. Anyway, uh, now I also want to talk to you about, uh, you've been recording uh, not so long ago, yeah, and yes. you've got this uh, glass house, uh, glass houses? Glass, glass house. houses. Glass yeah. houses, plural? Yes. Okay, you, you've got this out now. Uh, how long did it take to record? We went into the studio last September, and we just wanted to we wanted to get the the drums and bass down for three three of the songs we'd been writing um, between the release of the album, and and we wanted to just keep the ball going and keep it going, you know. Sure. Um, and so yeah, we recorded that in about September last year. And it's really just been a matter of kind of refining and overdubbing and, and getting getting to a point where we're like, okay, yeah, we're really proud of this. 
this um, project for, for where we are at the time as, as a band, you know, and, uh, and yeah, we've kind of obviously things come up in life and kind of put uh, a bit of a handbrake on certain things that, for timing, but, you know, we've, we've worked really hard to get to this point, and um, as I said, talking earlier about Matt. Uh, buried away in a studio yeah, down, yeah. Down, down the back of his house there. He's uh, done a magnificent job of, of mixing and, um, and getting the tracks uh, mastered for us as well. He's with his friends at Cog Studio. You right, know, so. I, I have a feeling he's listening right now. Oh, I have a feeling you know. he might be as well. <laughs> so we'll give a big shout out to Matt because uh, we, we believe in you, Matt. We really do. And you've got incredible talent. Well, so, I think uh, the great thing is that, you know, is this, We've had so many comments from various blogs overseas, various um, industry people, even in reviews, just commenting on on the quality of of the production, and that's that's down to Matt's hard work. You know, yeah, he's, yeah. he's a very hard working, dedicated part of the team. You know, as we all, as we all are, but you know, it's not an easy job to, oh, to believe mix. Believe me, I I, I know yeah. I'm a yeah, qualified engineer myself yeah. and, and have done it for many many years. So uh, much respect mm. to Matt. I, I can hear the quality in his work. I really yeah. can. Oh, and uh, I, I scrutinise all music. I really, <laughs> yeah. I, I really do. Unfortunately, in my job, I have to. Yeah. And uh, I'm just an amateur at the work that he's done. So uh, congratulations, Matt. I'm really, really proud of you. Also, Kurt, what a great voice. Uh, you, you must have uh, been very happy to be able to get him away from the drums and on a, yeah, onto a yeah. microphone. Well, when he was, he was doing some BBs back in the day when he, when he was drumming, and we knew he had a bit of a voice. Uh, and then, yeah, he really got into his songwriting, and um, that's where it, it really presented itself. Um, sort of maybe the early 2000s, he really got into his songwriting quite a lot. And, um, and yeah, and that's where it really took off, and, and it's such a great thing to see him, you know, we're all developing as musicians, and... And every time we get together and rehearse or jam or write, there's always something new that he's pulling out of, of the air for his songwriting as well. So, you know, he's, he's an amazing songwriter and, and a great vocalist. You know, I always have this feeling that the cream will always come to the top. You know what I mean? And I, I think you've found that right there with, uh, with, with him. And uh, I congratulate you as putting everything together, the way you've done it. It is just absolutely superb. We, right found, we found a really good balance. Of how how to, how we work, and it it did take a while, mm -hmm. you know, because we're a, a new a new setup and 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 uh, a new way of playing, you know, because two guitars, so trying to weave those and and then try not to crowd Clint's space for his vocals. You know, it took a little while to find where we were at as far as songwriting goes, but um, you know, with the with the album that we we put together and now the EP, it's it's we we're, we're pretty proud of some of the. Well, not some of all of the all of the work we've done. Yeah, yeah. I, I can yeah. see it. I, I really can, and, and it's nice to be able to have somebody uh, within the band appreciate what they're doing. To be yeah. very honest, you know, some bands that I've met over the years, they sort of nonchalantly go, "Oh yeah, but it's just business." You know what I mean? This, to me, is life skills. It yeah. really is. And, and oh, uh, so many life skills involved in being in a band. Yeah. Oh absolutely. my gosh. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And, and it shows within you guys that you've got your act, you've got the balance, you've got yeah. everything going for you. You really, really do. And I know you're going to be a big hit overseas. Uh, speaking of which, now I'm going to talk to you about uh, Beautiful Morning. Right. But before we get into that, any plans for travelling? Uh, yeah, we've we've got some um, people we're talking to about uh, maybe going to visit Australia, like you mentioned. Mm -hmm. um, we've had some people interested in maybe uh, looking at at some point the, the United Kingdom, um, but there's a lot of a lot of organisation to go on for that sort of thing. Um, we're looking at doing a, uh, a bit of a travel around uh, some venues around New Zealand later in the year. Um, Sort of, as I said, just organising schedules and, and various things is, is what we're working on at the moment. So that's hopefully in the near future for, for, for New Zealand. And then, yeah, obviously any opportunities that come up will definitely... You know, you know I, I, I can see you guys being one of the headliners for something like Rhythm and Binds, for instance. <laughs> I, I can actually see you guys up there uh, 
I get the breeds. <laughs> <laughs> they've done an amazing job, though. Oh, I haven't big, they? Big ups, big ups to, to what they've done, you know. It's a, exactly. You and, know. and I don't think it's uh, the year of our Lord anymore. I really don't. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, it's, uh, I think, it's a tough, it would have been a tough thing for her to work through coming up with yeah. something as, well, I suppose the word's big, as the first album with Royals. Well, that's, that's, that's going to be a tough thing to follow. Yeah, but I, I also think that Taylor's had a big influence here too. Yeah, and, and, she's got and, some influences around her now. Yeah, I, I also think that it's uh, changed her in a lot of ways. But yeah, but songwriting-wise, you mean? Mm, or, mm. Yeah, yeah, you can hear, you can hear a, a definitely a different production and songwriting direction they've gone in. Um, but, you know, time will tell. Yeah. Won't it? Yeah, but, you know, she's still playing the Billboard Awards. Exactly. <laughs> it's amazing. And, and hey, Ed Sheeran wants to run away to New Zealand, so why not? Exactly, <laughs> you know. Yeah, those, those sorts of people are, are doing some amazing things around the world as well. You know, you can appreci- I can appreciate some of, the, some of the things that Ed Sheeran's doing. And I was watching him online the other day, and he filled a football stadium and he's by himself. It's yeah. incredible. Exactly. It's amazing yeah. what he's done. And he was found next to a subway station, and then someone flipped his video to Elton John. The, well, yeah. Holy moly. <laughs> exactly. How great is that? You know, uh, the other thing too is uh, uh, Harry Styles. Yeah. I mean, an, another... What well, do you think of his new album? Well, I th- Have I you heard it? I think it's better than... Uh, yeah. well, I think it has a direction. Yes, <laughs> I know. I actually, because at first I was like, oh... There's a bit of bit of a wall there, and then I saw him on what a TV show it was, and he played the song live, and it was like, actually, this is a really, really good song. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Have you seen Kiwi? I have. Yeah, yeah that blew, I was like, Whoa. exactly. What's this about? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. I absolutely love it. Yeah, and it's really been good an edge to it, and it was it was really. I thought that was kind of cool too. Yeah, and uh, I, I got to uh, just go back a little bit, back to. Uh, uh, of course, Ed, uh, have you noticed that uh, Galway Gal was actually, he met a girlfriend yeah. uh, here in New Zealand, in Auckland, in, in Grafton Road. It I says it in the lyrics. know that backstory, no. Yeah, yeah. Have, a, have a listen to the lyrics. You'll find it's on Gra- Grafton it, Road. Because apparently someone leaked that he was getting engaged. So mm, I wonder if that's her. Mm, mm, if that's her. It, it could be it, mm. you know. Little Irish girl apparently yeah. uh, plays the, uh, <laughs> plays the portable. Yeah, it's <laughs> a fiddle. It's a fiddle. Oh, yeah, for an Irish band. Um, there you go. Um, but I'm only going by what's in the lyrics, and I'm sure that Ed wouldn't lie to us. <laughs> <laughs> Case oh, you're listening, Ed. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, call me. Yeah, yeah, please. Anytime. Anytime. Uh, in fact, we were talking to a manager the other day of a band uh, that we want to get involved with. Uh, their manager uh, of this particular band as the manager for Justin Bieber as well. So, oh, okay. Uh, you know, we yeah. had second thoughts then. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking to my daughter who's 11 and she was saying, is, is he okay now, Dad? I, and I said, I think he might have pulled himself together now. Yeah, I think Hopefully. he's growing up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yet again, uh, the number one song, by the way, has got uh, him involved in it at the moment, uh, but it's very What's Latino. Uh, oh, yes, yes. I saw that, yes. Uh, something, yeah. yeah. Uh, Despica, uh, Despica or that something. Was it, yeah, yeah. That was the one we were watching when, yeah, it's, yeah, it's different. It really is, yeah, yeah. it really is. But um, at the same time, it's nice to be able to get some culture music out there. doesn't have to be Maori. Oh, look, <laughs> any culture, you know, sharing exactly. culture is great. You know, there's so many we, things are borrowed from different cultures. Exactly. You know, I was I, just on a little different of a tan, bit of a tangent. I went to the pop-up Shakespeare in, okay. in Auckland and yeah. um, part of the, it was modernised and they were dabbing everywhere, but it was all part... And I realised that I saw the dab in Polynesian dancing. Yeah. And I was like, that's where it's been taken from. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, thing, people are borrowing things from all sorts of places. So, you know, the more, the more sh- of sharing we have, I think the more richer we have as far as the world. So, you know, it's great. And, it, and especially, you know, different cultures like Spanish as well you know my daughter was really interested in watching that you know one of the craziest things I ever saw and this is really really cool I was in Amsterdam once and there was a uh, a Swedish guy there playing the didgeridoo right and, and he could just rock this yeah. thing he really could and, and I said to him where did you learn this he says from videos 
Oh wow! There you, you know, go. It makes the world smaller, doesn't it? It the, really does. This, you know, weird stuff. but it is. Uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, a, a, a traditional cultural yeah. instrument like the didgeridoo, right. coming out of Australia, you're the last place you'd ever expect to see it. It's an Amsterdam Amsterdam played by a Swedish guy. By a Swedish guy, you know, <laughs> not only good at making knives, apparently. <laughs> Maybe the occasional uh, Swatch Watch as well, but yeah, you know. Yeah. It's like furniture. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, we won't go down the Lego road. No. <laughs> That's no. another country yeah. again, isn't it? it Norway, is. isn't it? Yeah. 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 Any, anyway, and now I want to talk to you about... It's <laughs> all about tangents this morning. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> We're just waffling right now. It is so nice to have a coffee with somebody. Unfortunately, I didn't get the biscuits out. Yeah. It's okay. It's all right. Yeah, he didn't... Arrive with anybody, uh, with oh. any folks. I'm sorry. I should have brought nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or anybody else. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about beautiful morning sure. now. How did you come to the lyrics with this? Uh, the lyrically, um, again, it was just off the vibe of the track, um, and Clint was uh, singing just some phrases, and that stuck out. Again, that stuck out. He went away with it. Um, at the time. Uh, we wrote it, it's because this was the last track we put on the EP. We were like, umming and ahhing, do we add an extra one? Do we just leave it at four on the track? We thought, you know, this is, it's got something to it. Um, and I know when we originally kind of sketched it out and, and mucked around with it when we were writing it, um, Clint was going through some, uh, some things around some family um, uh, illness. And and I think a lot of a lot of that is is in this is in this song. Yeah. Right. Okay. So you're right here at Galaxy at 107 FM. I'm joined by Chris from Table Fox. Here they are with Beautiful Morning. I really like this. Yeah. No. This is this is probably you know is is it just you know sometimes you just fiddle around on the guitar and something comes out. Yeah. And it's just kind of like. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Um, so, you know, um, I've been, as you know, I talk to a lot of bands, yeah. and uh, the ones that become the biggest, best hits are the can ones be you don't think about it. Yeah. Uh, McDonald's napkin or something. Exactly. You know what I mean? It is just incredible. Yeah. You know, um, some of these guys say, oh, look, it took me five minutes to write. Yeah. yeah. And it's the biggest deal, you know? It's like, yeah. uh, whereas, uh, I've met other um, people who write songs that agonise over stuff for years, yeah. you know? Oh, I know. And, and I, I usually say to them, listen, if you're going to agonise over it for years, put it away. Yeah. You know? Just give it some time, some space, let it breathe. Come back to it in a while, you know? Um, work on something else. Yeah. Uh, maybe the dog running with a, you know, chasing a ball or something it like that. It just takes that one little moment, or a, someone might say something and. It's just you're away, you know. Exactly. You know, oh, that's what I need. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and believe me, they, they talk to me all the time about, you know, I've one guy yeah. <laughs> uh, from a band that's actually sliding past him. Oh, right. He wrote a song, and, and it's one of the oh, best yeah. songs that they've got. Sitting on the shitter. <laughs> <laughs> Chewing tobacco. Really? And, and the song's called um, Something About a Chew, isn't it? And, really? And, and I, you know, it's an incredibly you great song. Know. As Keith Richards says, you know, he, t he doesn't write, so he just, they find him, eh? They just pull mm. stuff out, mm. and it's just like, if, exactly. if it comes, it comes, and, you know, you do what you can. Exactly. Um, but he's, yeah, I like, I like Keith's philosophy on that. You know, I, I think we've got a couple of guitars coming that Keith was supposed to get. Really? Yeah. Long time ago. Wow. Yeah. It was commissioned by the Rolling Stone magazine. Yeah. For the Rolling Stone. Oh my god. And we're in the Africa. So we're in the Africa. Both are equal. Oh, we're massive. We're going to keep. We're going to keep them alive.
That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM, joined by Chris from Table Fox. Uh, Chris, by the way, if in case you're wondering about the American flag behind us, remember to stay tomorrow. Oh, is it tomorrow? Oh, yeah, yeah uh, 29th over there. 29th I didn't over remember, there today. sorry. Uh, but uh, we do our part. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I'll leave you in a That's little right. secret. I was actually born in Phoenix. Oh, Arizona. And, and I was born up here since I was about 18 months old. So mm. I consider myself as a New Zealander. There you go. Uh, but I, I do... Uh, Try and keep up with uh, everybody over around the world, and we do show our support for those yeah. in Poland, lest we forget. Yep. So, uh, much like Antac here. Exactly, yeah, no, and it's such a, an important thing to do, remember, isn't it? Those, it is. those that have gone before us. So, e exactly. Wonderful. And if you don't learn by your mistakes, you know, so not you need forward, to remember them. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you yeah. really do. Uh, let's hope uh, the uh, Prime Minister, uh, the uh, president they have over there right now isn't going to get them into anything they can't get out of actually. That would be uh, something to hope for, yeah, 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 so every day seems to be different. Yeah, well, you know, uh, the hair is the president, the body is just what carries along the hair. Mm, it's interesting to watch, isn't it? <laughs> I just wonder what the feet are. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they give it its own room. Uh, oh, 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 okay, I'm being told that. <laughs> we can't pick on... Uh, no, no, no. I, no, I know. You, you know oh, what you know they think? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? Do they take it out for walks often? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> yeah, believe me. Uh, I, I know what they feed it. Yeah. yeah it, it's called uh, a peroxide. <laughs> Yeah, you know about uh, blondes with brown hair, though, don't you? That's a blonde looking for artificial intelligence. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I'm not getting involved. No. <laughs> He's blonde. You, you ish. can say it. You can ish. Say, ish. Blondish. Ish. No, I, I think he's got absolutely a splendid colour of brown here. <laughs> he's That's intelligent. He's intelligent. Thank you for noticing. Yeah. <laughs> See that with with the glasses, it just sits. Me. <laughs> it really does. It, uh, I'm not putting mine on though. No. <laughs> I don't want to scare you too much. Jo join the club. Oh, no, no. <laughs> well, you know, doesn't make me. Uh, oh. uh, yeah, you can tell they stay in here. Can't you? <laughs> yeah, but. Uh, there we go. Yeah, look at that. I'm almost intelligent. You know, one, one of these days I'll have a degree yeah, like... Uh, twin, almost twins, my green beard. 